Hi, I'm Lizzie and I'm the kennel assistant here at Warren House Vets. This morning we have had two sisters by bond, Lucy and Honey, who are both booked for laparoscopic spays. Lucy is a lovely Cocker Spaniel girl who is very shy, whilst Honey, her Whippet sister, is a bit more confident. Their mom chose Keyhole Spay over the open approach, which has less complications and is a much quicker recovery. We tend to schedule anxious dogs at the start, so Lucy is first up. To make them both more comfortable, I've just taken them out for a walk. Sometimes a change of scenery and movement makes our anxiety a bit better, rather than the company of the other unknown dogs. Lucy has had her pre-medication to make her nice and relaxed, and is now in the preparation room where she will be clipped and prepped for surgery. Her spay took a little over 30 minutes and before she knew it, she was back in the kennels. I sat with her while she woke up and monitored her every hour during her recovery. Next up is Honey. It is now her turn to be prepped for surgery and to be taken into theatre. We are just out of surgery and now my focus is on Honey's recovery. She woke up quickly, but she was a bit cold, which can happen after surgery despite the warming systems and tools we have in theatres. We use heated mats in the kennels and a hair dryer, which provides a nice warm environment for recovery. Laparoscopic space are the most common way of neutering female dogs in our practice. The steps are the same for all neutering operations. We aim to place an intravenous catheter first, if not possible, we start with pre-medication and then place a catheter. We clip the area of surgical field and clean skin thoroughly and proceed with the surgery. We started with laparoscopic space um, almost 10 years ago and lately we do more keyhole space than open surgeries. Laparoscopic space usually takes us about 30 to 40 minutes, so no longer than an open spay. And we try to keep the prices as low as possible so pet owners don't have to choose between open surgery and keyhole for financial reasons. I have just been on one last walk with both girls to make sure that they are good to go home. We have called that owner and we agreed on a discharge time, so now we'll get everything ready. We have a little goodie bag with post-operative instructions, gastro food and a few more bits so that our patients have a smooth recovery. We will call their mum tomorrow to make sure they are recovering well and we will see the girls back in two to three days time for a post-op check to make sure that their wounds are healing well. Mm -hmm.